Okay, we'll call the special meeting of the Board of Education to order. We'll stand and be led in the pledge by Mr. Woodhull. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Levinson. Mm -hmm. Then we have roll call. Mr. Judith, Mr. Levinson. Yes. Mr. Lewis. Here. Mrs. McAfee. Here. Ms. Kokosh. Ms. Rash. Mr. Vasquez. Mm -hmm. Mr. Woodhall. Yes. Mr. Here. Okay. We only have one agenda on the item tonight, and it is the <laughs> principles of ethical conduct. <laughs> and um, we are here. Um, to discuss, I gave you all, and I provided copies again this evening, um, since not everyone had it with them, um, samples of other um, ethics for school board members from other um, school boards. Um, the one that was specifically recommended to me by um, Orange County School Boards was um, the first one, which happens to be from Livingston, New Jersey. And that was accompanied with an article um, because they um, were having issues with um, roles and responsibilities of board members in Livingston, New Jersey. So they came up with this code of ethics specific to their board members. So um, in looking at our um, uh, we have Bylaw number 0180, 3211, and 4213, which is Code of Ethics. And um, within there, it talks of conflicts of interest, um, other disclosure requirements, other prohibited activities, board member training, which we had to update based on the new regulations from um, New York State. Uh, confidentiality requirements for board members, compatibility of offices, gifts, accepting of gifts, voiding of contracts, violations and consequences, um, board member removal process, um, discipline of other officers and employees, and distribution filing and posting requirements. So that's something we have in existence already that's been under <coughs> review that is coming for adoption uh, this month. So um, I wanted to expand upon that um, to other things that were more specific to the school board members. And Margo suggested that it would be an addendum to this um, bylaw that we have <coughs> and that um, it would be referred to as the principles of ethical conduct. And um, it would have a signature page attached to it. So basically, we would be agreeing to abide by these rules, if you will. So I provided us with um, several samples. And um, I wanted us to come up with a um, template, if you will, specific to Newburgh School District and to us as board members um, that everyone would agree to and be willing to sign to and once we've come up with that we will forward it to the attorney and she will review it and then it will be um, you know officially put together so that it can get on um, an agenda for a board meeting and then you know we would go ahead and, and sign off on this. <coughs> happening at Penn State. Mm -hmm. um, I know we are, res we, because of our positions, are required to report anything we see or mm -hmm. assume, you know, we have to report to somebody. Mm -hmm. Yourself. Mr. Pizzo, uh, do we, I don't know if there's anything in here yeah. in relationship to that. Right. 
or right. if that's something that should be part of this particular uh, or being if it goes somewhere else. Being a state mandate, really, I think it probably should. You no, know, my personal feeling is we probably should have something like that in our policy. So reporting, we could ask Margo the reporting, where would that go? We do have a policy that covers that. Okay. Separately. Okay. Oh, we do. Oh, yeah. But should it be included in this also, or referenced? Yeah. We can I mean, reference we'll it. ask Margo. Should yeah. write. I'd be happy just referencing it, you know, rather than writing a whole new column. You know. Should. First ones um, that I went through, um, I, I did like the one from New Jersey. Um, I, especially, I especially like item J, which says, I will refer all complaints to the chief administrative officer, who would be Mr. Pizzo, um, and will act on complaints at public meetings only after failure of an administrative solution. Um, That on the very the first, first one, page. Tom. Oh, okay. Very that, first that's page. Item. Yeah, okay. That's, that's right. item J. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, in general, I, I really liked those. Um, May I comment on that? Absolutely. <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised by that because that would be a change in, in our operating procedure. Yeah. I mean, because we are much more likely to come to you than we are to go to Mr. Pizzo. Well, we could, well, then we could, if we want to change that, again, that what it's about what works for us and what works for this district. If we want to put here, I will refer all complaints to the board president who will refer them to the chief administrative yeah, officer. I was talking to you a moment ago, but now I don't know that that's really a complaint, but mm -hmm. if not, it comes darn close to it. Mm -hmm. And yet I, you know, immediately yeah, it to you. Yeah. Yeah, and I always say, bring it to me or to Mr. Pizzo. Right. right. So if, if that, that either or there. Yeah, that would satisfy me. And then the business about you know, that it can only be dealt with at public meetings only. No, no. After, if there was no resolution, there was no resolution by administration. Then you bring it up, can bring it up in public meeting. Is what it's saying. I think that's the intent of that of Jay. Is more not to not to come out in a public meeting unless we first try to have the prop problem solved. Right. I think that's the intent of okay. Jay. So, is there um, a different wording that you think that would make that more clear? Yeah, I mean, I think it would be better. And if. Administ an administrative solution is not reached, we'll act on the complaints only at public meeting. Okay. So that it's clear the order. You understand right. what I'm saying? So if an administrative solution is not reached. We'll act on the complaint only at public meeting. The board will act. Right? Mm -hmm. The board will act on the complaints only at a public meeting. I think that makes the sequence much clearer. It makes the sequence, but that's not the, I don't think that was the intent of that, that mm -hmm. line. I think that that is problems should not be brought up publicly until what what this is saying. It I'm not saying be. it's correct or not, right. but what I, I think the intent of Jay is to say, see if the problem could be solved before it's brought up in a public session. 
if it can be worked out, if it, if it can mm -hmm. be fixed, if it should be fixed. I think that's what it the intent is. How it, oh, yeah, well, yeah, whether that's, yeah. that's fine or, yeah. or whatever, but. Know but what you, don't, you don't think if, if it reads, I will refer all complaints to the board president or chief administrative officer, and if an administrative solution is not reached, the board will act on the complaints only at a public meeting? You don't think that has that outcome, Mark? Mr. Yeah, yeah. Mark is fine. <laughs> 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 I, 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 I try to. <laughs> some no, I, I, I sometimes I, solved in an executive session. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, because I mean, some things you don't want to just pop out there and, and right. public meeting with. Right. Not only that, it might not be legal. That's yeah. That's right. You, you might get sued for it. So you think you can't put? that it will only be public meeting, yeah. at a public meeting. I'm a little afraid of that. All right. So well, you know we'll, what? We'll refer I, this to Marco. I, I think yes. if you wanted to start something like this, you can, um, I will refer all complaints to the, the president and or, and or chief administrative officer to, to, try, to try to have an administrative solution. That's not saying that you will or won't go in a public session after bring it up, but I, I think their intent, this district's intent with that, was to not have someone come up and say, hey, um, the roofer is no good and it's leaking until it first goes through the process of, of going through um, to see if it could be worked out with, mm -hmm. with building and grounds and with the superintendent, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. And I'm not saying it's bad, but I think that's what their intent okay. was. And if, if that is yep. <laughs> if if that is the intent, I think it would slow down a lot of, of action in this district because you think of a committee meeting. Yeah. A lot of things are brought to light buildings and grounds yeah. when they haven't been brought up. Yeah, before you're, then. Right. you're right. Yeah. You're right. So right. Like, th this would be a a um, real Impediment to efficiency. <laughs> efficiency what? is very important. Uh, not knowing how big Livingston, New Jersey is, they might yeah. be a small district. Yeah, right. You know, so maybe it's not an issue yeah. for them well, here. Our, our problem has so. always been, that, along with every other board, is that you, you meet twice a month in official meetings. And we do a lot of work in our regular committee meetings exactly. because we, we do have three or four people together. And it's a, a place that we exchange information on certain mm -hmm. topics. You know, I think that could be rolled into another one of these lines and, and okay. into something where the, the gist of it or what you really want of it mm -hmm. without restricting anyone can be rolled into something that Okay. It could be a totally separate, yeah. Yeah. you know, I mean, that's what we're here to come up with, a template to give to Marga. So we could just have then, I will refer all complaints to the board president and or chief administrative officer. Or action. Yeah. Yeah. That's good, because that limits you saying that <laughs> I'm going to go, I'm going to go tell <laughs> Andy to do something, or the exactly. principal to do something. Exactly. That, so that may be that's good. That's what we're trying to avoid. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, right. that's, that, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes simple is better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Get too wordy in the starts again. Mm -hmm. But that was the only one there that I thought mm -hmm. I had a problem with. Not yet. Thing overall, I like the this beginning one. of mm -hmm. this one. Yeah. Um, you know, and then I started to look at some of the others pull out things that I wanted to make sure were addressed in here that I wanted to make sure we had. Um, so on the next set, um, starts with, looks like this, Code of Ethics, page one of two. Um, you almost need to, to, to put these side by side mm -hmm. and cross-reference them mm -hmm. to see whether points were included. Mm -hmm. no. If it was something you wanted, mm -hmm. no. and then check it off and say, okay, that's mm -hmm. the number one. It's here. Right. So um, on the second one, I happen to highlight um, under the second.
section, which says school board members should respect his relationships with other members of the board. One, two, three, bullet number four. By making decisions only after all facts bearing on a question have been presented and discussed. I don't know how you all feel about having that included. Go ahead. In theory, I think it's okay. But in, in fact, <laughs> there, there are often times when we don't have all of the facts. Isn't that true? It's true. So you put something in there that you can't stick to, and we've all signed it. We may go ahead. Well, all, all facts as we know them. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That's a different thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All facts as we know yes. them. Yes, that I would agree with that. As opposed to making, well, there's another, uh, well, we're going to come up upon it where it says something about, you know, not making decisions based on supposition, opinion, public favor, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> so that kind of ties into what I was trying to get at here, that, you know, all facts as, as we're presented mm -hmm. with, but not making decisions without hearing all of that information, I guess is what I'm trying to get to. Mm -hmm. Well, you, you almost could say like being open to, to the discussion or the listening of, of all sides of, of the argument yeah. mm -hmm. before making a decision. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Something like that. Well, that kind of goes with the next one. Right. Respecting the opinions of others and then, um, and then refusing to participate in irregular meetings, <laughs> such mm -hmm. as secret or star chamber meetings, which are not official and which all mem members do not have an opportunity to attend. That's illegal in a lot of different ways. Yes, it so, is. I, don't, I mean, does it need to be put in, in, in policy? That, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's here for discussion. Okay, well, that's probably, seen yeah, it. probably the, the <laughs> lawyer can uh, yeah. see if we need to put that in. I think this is similar to what uh, Tom was saying about the uh, media issue that we have now with Pennsylvania State. Mm -hmm. Now that it, if something is law, if, if we start referencing one law, Mm -hmm. yeah, we don't commit murder. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 It needs to say okay. that too. All right. I believe by, by, by all laws. I mean, that, that right. would cover that a lot of that. that yeah. All right. So if we go back to the making decisions only after, how do we want to word that? We will be open to what you're saying, mm -hmm. Mark? By being open to all arguments. As we know in the. Uh, uh, all, not all. Open to all sides. Okay. To all positions. All posi positions. I think you said all sides of the argument. So to all. I thought you just interjected as we know them. I interjected that. Oh. But then Mark said it's really about being open to. To wasn't, hear all sides of the argument. Yeah, by, by, by hearing all sides. Be open yeah. to hearing, hearing all sides yeah. of the argument. There may be a better word than argument. Oh, that's, yeah. that's, that's almost yeah, sides. Yeah, there's got to be a, the source yeah, around it. Uh, and and issue. the issue. All sides of the issue before, before casting judgment, before mm -hmm. making judgment. Before making a decision. Right. But we'll be open to hearing all sides of an issue before ren rendering any judgment or, or decision. Or dismissal of school personnel. What exactly does that mean? 
<laughs> Which is why I highlighted it. I think, listen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, so they're said by acting on, meaning for or against. You have a you know, right. acting right. decision. Right. 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 By recommendations that are coming from the superintendent, not taking action on matters of employment or dismissal of school personnel without the recommendation of the You're not saying mm -hmm. you would have to agree with them. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can vote no, but it, it kind of implies that that it's something you can only vote yes on what it comes up with. I, I, Isn't that also a lot of Yeah, that's what we do with it. Most of the time. But I don't think we have felt that we had to. I think we've all felt that we were independent members of the board. Mm -hmm. uh, because mm -hmm. each of us is no, no. the citizen. No, yeah. by, but I think the wording just maybe by acting only upon the recommendation almost implies that you have to vote yes with, with this recommendation. I think the wording may be be a better wording right. that can imply that, that, that we, we can don't have to. We can act upon his recommendation yeah. by denying it, by voting no. Yes. The implication here to me is that the uh, that the vote is coming up and you don't have previous information to, to work on. But most everything that comes before the board for a vote is usually the stuff that's been vetted, discussed, right. information and backup material has been supplied, and we discussed some things at infinitum before right. yeah. you asked about. Right. I, I think you're, you're leaving out a whole. I, well, I, th here. I think the intention of this was to say that the board members can't simply come to a meeting and recommend on matters of employment or dismissal of school personnel. That's it. That is. That's what I think. That's that, what it, it is. That, that's that is the I intention. That. that is the exactly. intention. But I just think that the wording exactly implies I mean. a little bit different. Mm -hmm. When I first read it, and I think when Judy first read it, we had, it said. By acting only on the uh, only upon the recommendation, and you're going to come with the recommendation to, to hire someone. By acting yeah. only on it implies that well, it comes with recommendations too. But but what I'm trying to say is yeah. that recommendations for hiring have been vetted through the policy committee, through the personnel committee, mm -hmm. through many other committees. Yes. So yeah. Depending upon the type of recommendation we're making, it could have even been buildings and grounds. For so that board members have had a chance to discuss it and then decide let's bring it to the full board. I, or let's bring it to the policy committee because they're going to meet before I, I, full Technically, board. it's right. I think it's right. I don't think you have to change it at all. But I, so, I my, that, so my question going out, though, is the part that we're, we're trying to specifically address, which is the board not, you well, know, bringing forth to an agenda, matters of employment well, or dismissal of school personnel. Is that already law? Why don't you do what so you just again, Yeah, what you just said is 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 really what you want out of it and it's a lot plain instead of saying we have to act the on board will not the board will not initiate initiate or bring before Yeah, that's a better way. You know that if that's really what you want, put that down. That's how mm -hmm. I interpreted it as well. Is that maybe so, what we want. But I yeah, right. is that is that what you want? Because I, I don't know of any <laughs> any meetings where you've come in wanting to do something in that meeting of that kind of importance. Yeah. I'm saying most everything that comes to the table has been pretty much discussed by mm -hmm. as many board members as possible. I through our committee structure. Yeah, and to have the committee to bring it right. to the floor. Yeah, and then, and then many times at the committee you'll say, yeah. okay, I always how say. do you feel about that? And you get four people to say yes, okay, then we're ready to go to the full board yeah. with the recommendation. Mm -hmm. Then the same thing is vetted again with the full board. So, I mean, you, you, you when you're reading some of these statements, they're not taking into account what happens with this board before you make decisions. That's what I remember. I a lot of this stuff has been through personnel, and you always, always case, bring it you, back to the full board, right? You, but you sign off <laughs> on that paperwork too, Judy. I think the issue with the third bullet is that we don't even know what it means. So obviously, it has to be either eliminated or rewritten. But maybe the first thing is to go to Margo, go and see whether. 
But we can't agree on what it means. If if you do go with this, do you also have to put in super, uh, assistant superintendent of human resources because that really is where some of this comes from too, correct? Well, that's where but you, ultimately, that's where you, by the time it makes it to the board meeting for a vote, it's coming from the superintendent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you also discussed it in personnel. But anything yeah. coming through human resources yeah. right. has been thoroughly vetted in personnel. Mm -hmm. And then you take your, your yeah. you, you pull the committee, oh, and then you say, oh, are we ready to go to the full board with the recommendation? Yeah. Yeah. If you're not, you usually say, well, let's discuss this again one more time mm -hmm. before we do that. Yeah. And that's happened also. And, and no one has ever disputed that, that you have that right to do that. Yeah, you have to try to think of what happens with your own board, yeah, right. mm -hmm. your own people, when you're trying to use statements from other boards. I mean, it's a good idea to get some of the stuff in the wording, but think about what you do here before you get to a full vote once a month. That's when it comes. You do your workshop, and then you, you're actual on the firing line for a full vote. Many times we've gone to the, to the regular board meeting for a vote and have decided we needed to talk about something, and we come and do an executive session before the meeting. This board has been very good about that, about trying to bring everybody up to speed on, on things that you're going to vote on. You people have been outstanding with that. So maybe we just don't need it. I, oh, I, I let's move on. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah. Judy, do you want to say one last thing? Yeah, just that maybe you could say matters of employment or dismissal would be brought to the board for a vote only after being taken to the personnel committee. Yeah. And, and, and having a recommendation of the superintendent. That's what you're really trying to get at, right? Well, that's what we do. Yeah. That is right. what we do. Yeah. So we don't really, uh, what he's saying is that since that's what we do and we haven't had issues with that, then yeah. we really we don't have. need it. We I, I don't think you want to take every one of the bullets and try to adopt them for what you do. Uh, I think you have to think about what you do and then look at the bullets and see which ones are going to help you in doing what you're doing very well now already. Mm -hmm. This particular I think we should, you know, I have to take it from the other end. Right. Yeah, I only highlighted a few things in here. Um, okay. This, this, I want in here somehow, and let's go back this to one? the first one. Yes. <laughs> what are you on, first um, page? Second to the <laughs> last, the page <laughs> two. Page two of this code of ethics that we were just on, the one that started like this, Mr. Lewis. Mm -hmm. And that's going to All right. Marry with this second one. page, right. Um, second to the bottom bullet. I did the same thing. By refusing to discuss person, we, we will refuse to discuss personnel matters yeah. or any other confidential business of the board in our homes, yeah. on the street, or in our office. To be married with G on the other one, right? <laughs> right. I did, the same, I did the same thing. <laughs> Mary, Mary with which? With G, G on the, the first The very one. first page. Yeah. Where we had said that we liked, um, this was the New Jersey Code of Ethics. Mm -hmm. um, look at G, which talks about confidentiality yeah. of yeah. matters. Mm -hmm. So to incorporate this right. last bullet with G. Well, this, this way, that, that bullet there is just really explaining to people who don't know what confidential business is, because it says it very clearly, I will hold confidential all matters pertaining to schools mm -hmm. in the first one. But do you want to expand that, is what you're saying, mm -hmm. to say that it is, whatever is confidential can't be discussed anywhere? Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, it's... Mm -hmm. Yes, so, it's repetitive, but I think it needs to not be that it's, it's, it's not that it's repetitive, it's really explaining uh, in, depth. Uh, in depth what <laughs> confidential so there's is. There's no, no misinterpretation anyway. <laughs> so, if a, so if a board member has a confidential information and say Judy is absent today and she calls me in the morning and say, what was talked about last night in terms of whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. And that's confidential, so you shouldn't be able to speak to other board members either about it. 
No, no, but I'm asking. It's outside of the board. No, what does it say? It says it's not in your home. On the street well, or in his office. But not in your home, meaning to the people. Don't, like, in don't your tell your home. spouse that's and your right. children. That was, that was, and that's your a very simple way, yeah, thing that they're doing. I mean, you say your business or your car. I mean, that's kind of silly to say in your home, your business, <laughs> and, you know. Well, she'll, like, don't don't call she'll not the phone. be discussed with anyone other, other than, than the fellow board members and right. the okay. superintendent. Okay, yes. that should be that's, because. Uh, that's a professional way of saying. Right. Yes. Yes. I think that's what you want. Without the, you know you're going to discuss without the places involved. Yeah. So when I talk about everything. Right. <laughs> I don't think they. But no I, secret I, meetings, I, okay, Mr. Lewis. I don't think that's somebody calling you the next day because they missed the meeting. You might right. want to know about what's a certain hmm. issue that that it was maybe a little bit more dear to them than some of the others would, would say. How did that issue go? I wasn't able to be here to vote, or whatever. Something to that. I don't think that's what they're trying to, to say. At one time it was, uh, David said, you don't talk to each other on the phone. Yeah, about it too. There's this. That happens on the board because they can. You could say that you had a board meeting. If I, if I talk right. to five, right? Think, you can't talk. Right. You can't I, ever have a quarum. So yeah. you can't. Yeah. If you've I got can call one Dawn member and, calling, and you and I talk, and then I said, Sue, you call Judy, and I'll call. I think if I <laughs> that shouldn't be happening. <laughs> I know it is. If I remember correctly, when when David said that it had to do with not the aftermath of a meeting to get information, but to line up votes before a meeting. Right. To say, I right. want to yeah, vote. Yeah, that was my right. 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 Will that you vote right. with me on this tonight or tomorrow night or whatever? I think that's what's the gist of what he said. If, if we're talking about the same time that I remember. Yeah. 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 Well, he, he, he was said it, it was pre-meeting. 20 times. You know, right. But he was always discussing it as pre-meeting, not post-meeting to ask somebody. He talked about votes. All right. Well, yeah. I, I, I didn't take that. In other words, if you're going to be a free voting individual, mm -hmm. you shouldn't be trying to convince other board members before a vote Correct. how to vote. Correct. That's me. And that happens all that's the time. Right. Well. <laughs> so that needs to, well then, if, if that's what you're saying, Mr. Lewis, then that, that, that needs really to be in here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That that is not yeah, appropriate. So let's figure out some wording for that. <laughs> that would be item K. I would love to be For, um... <laughs> Um, <laughs> board board <laughs> members board. will not um, <laughs> contact other board members for the purpose of uh, mm -hmm. soliciting. Oh, yeah, but it says something like that in here. Somewhere of gaining. What does it say? Gaining, gaining prestige. support. Gaining personal prestige. Personal gain. If I want my friend right. to be, uh, board members will not contact. If I want my Judy, if I want my friend to be the deputy superintendent, for look, I'm soliciting support. Let's, let's see get that back on the agenda. Uh, soliciting, soliciting, soliciting support regarding any issue. Mm -hmm. The lawyers are not going to look at that. Right. Go ahead. Okay. Does that mean uh, every June when we come up for election that you can't call a board member and say, "I want to be president with your vote"? <laughs> or I would like my friend to be president. Will you vote for that person? Yeah. I mean, that's personal gain, I would think. Yes, it's personal gain. It's a different category. Shouldn't be done. To to sway my vote. Yeah. Is that a better? I don't know to about sway to vote. No, right? no, no, no. But you to, uh, solicit the vote. Board members will not contact each other for the purpose of soliciting support for any matters of a personal gain, basically. Of, of no, it voting. Personal. Right. Personal. So it's, it's really about voting. Well, well, right. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. For purpose of soliciting support for something about voting. Uh, but in an ideal world, you should come in with your own mind, 
That's right. Yeah, exactly. That's right. Absolutely. Without free discussion. Absolutely. Which actually is in one of the it's other in, ones. In, this is in. That's an ideal world. <laughs> so, so that find is in one of the other ones. Find yeah. it so we can add it to the okay. I will refuse to surrender my independent judgment to exactly. special interests or partisan political oh, groups. To put or other board or members, other if you want to stick it in there, or other board members, or to use the school for personal gain. Maybe you could do that. Yeah, marry and those two again. Just, just put in, in F on the first page, uh -huh. after or partisan political groups amazing. or fellow board members. And maybe, and that's all you need, and I mean, it's in there. Uh -huh. Good. Yeah, that mm -hmm. <laughs> I think the only problem is that we're giving this a lot more attention to wordage right now than anybody's going to give it before they sign the document. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We're tearing it apart and looking at it word for word. That's not a bad thing, though. No, no. I don't think so. I, well, it'll be good sure. for us, but moving forward is what you're saying. Right. Is someone really going to um, have the same interpretation or quickly mm -hmm. sign it? Move on. Okay, well, whoever's here, if it's not me, then, you know, I'll just share. It's my opinion that you should share with your board members, you know, the meaning of this and what they're agreeing to by signing this right. document. We're Make just sure making that. sure the next group that comes in, or people that come in, have seen this and have a very <laughs> workable document. I and are as ethical as we are. I think the spirit of my <coughs> comment is probably that the simpler you can make mm -hmm. the statements, the more likely they are to accomplish mm -hmm. what you want them to do. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah, Mark. Now, speaking of that, I was going to bring up, if you look at the two, uh, the first two that we're looking at, mm -hmm. uh, on, the, on the Code of Ethics, on the first one, it says, by thinking in terms of the children first. That's all right. it says. Yep. That's almost identical to B on the first page, which says, I will make decisions in terms of educational welfare and seek to develop and maintain public schools to meet the individual needs of children regardless of their, oh, their ability, true. race, yeah. creed, sex, or social status. Yeah, I like that one. So you've got to decide which route well. you want to go. Oh, Do you want to go the simple route mm -hmm. by saying, and just using that as an example, by always thinking of the children first, or do you want to? I, I personally, I, I like, like this, this one. one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's, not, that's I think fine. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah it's compl two completely, completely different to see we have roots. Sexual orientation. There might be a couple mm -hmm. things we have to put in there for students. Yes. 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 And has expanded. So pursuant to DASA. Okay. Yeah, I like that one that, you know, meet the individual needs of all children, regardless of, I, yeah. I like that. All. So did I put this in somewhere on the um, one that starts ethics for school board members? Um, I will base yeah. my decisions on fact rather than supposition, opinion, or public statement. Can we marry that with something? Because I, I know that we've had many discussions about that um, and kind of coming in with a preconceived opinion before you've heard that. That's, you know, before you hear the facts and you don't even read your ethics. Oh, okay. Okay. You come in to make a opinion. And, uh, There's something in one of these about yes. being prepared. Yes, I read that. Being doing your homework. So we can put that in here. Yes, we definitely. People come in. It's, yeah. So, um, so I would like that um, personally, but I, you know, I want to. We all have to come to consensus on this. If that's something that you want in, um, you know, decisions of this board of education have to be made on facts. It's similar to a court of law. If you don't have the documentation and the facts mm -hmm. to support it, you have no business making a decision based on personal opinion or supposition or something you heard out there in the public. Mm -hmm. That's my personal opinion. I think it's very similar to that. Yeah. Average page. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Well, but no, that's I no, it's so. not because I mean we could add it to there, but I don't think that's what the F says. I don't think you have. Off on tangents, but I think basically it's the same topic. So okay. add it. Hello. So maybe we could just add that onto. Um, I will refuse to surrender my independent judgment to special interest or partisan political groups, or to use the schools for personal gain or for the gain of friends. Oh, special interest or partisan political groups, or fellow board, board members, board members right. or to use schools for personal gain or the gain of friends. I will base my decisions on fact rather than supposition, opinion, or public faith. I think what what you're saying is correct and good. I think it should be we put it in a separate item between B and C. Because B is I'm making decisions, you know, for okay. the needs of the children. I think that's okay. also very important. It should be its own okay. its own letter. All right. So B put in I will make decisions in terms of blah 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 and then put I will base my decisions on fact rather than supposition, opinion or public favor. And then I will confine my board action to policy making planning. I think that should be, a, yeah, should be set. I think it's a, diff, a diff, little different idea than the others. And when I go over this with Margo and get it back, I'm going to give you all a draft, you know, before, you know, to review and so we can finalize before anything um, comes before. On that homework sheet you gave us, I know I saw it on there. The, the, uh, oh, really? the, this the thing that we have to bring back Tuesday. This one? Yeah. And you have to sign. Oh, this is the self-evaluation. Yeah, self-evaluation. Where is it on there? What page? I know I saw it somewhere. Okay. So where is that, Judy? On the ethics and school board. Commitment to this one. Commitment to you service. You see it, Judy? Yeah. The code of ethics? Commitment method? to service. It's the second one in commitment to service. Hmm? Okay. I will diligently prepare second for and attend board meetings. Okay. So where does that fit into that I will focus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where might we put that on here? Where do you think that fits on the very first page? I almost think it's number one. Can't okay, you say? Because if if the person's not prepared and not here, the other stuff doesn't apply. Okay. What what is that? What that is says, the, uh, um, Mark, it says, um, I will diligently prepare for and attend board meetings. Well, that should be, yeah, that should be, yeah, you could be first. That's it. Because, yeah, you can't do anything. I will show up for school on time. I will bring my homework. And, uh, yes. That last one what, closer what to F. Context that one next there, right? I, I really do, I agree with you totally. I really think they're related, yeah. Ralph is speaking. In, in the context of what we talked about earlier, part of that is the preparation for the voting board meeting is the attendance at the regular Workshop. Okay, yeah. do we want to put, I will diligently yes. prepare for and attend <laughs> board workshops and board meetings. And yes, participate? That works. And right. participate? Do we want to put that in or not? Does it prepare for? <laughs> well, if you're attending, you're, you're going to be you're, participating. You're participating. Yeah, because <laughs> the meetings are, are doing your homework because that's when we, right. we uh, bring a lot of information background stuff for you, uh, documentation. I mean, uh, if anything, we can probably overdo that so that you are prepared. Okay, so I will diligently prepare for and attend board workshops and board meetings. Board and education workshops and board meetings. All right, 
Now you want to go back to where you uh, Yeah, I, I agree. I will base Judy, my decisions on fact rather than you think it should go where? I think it should, that should at least follow. Yeah. I know Mark wanted to move F up, but then maybe we can slide that one underneath it. Because they really do go hand in hand, I think. Well, before you do that, <laughs> if you could just look on the last page, two and three you may have the wording that you want for that. Endeavor to make policy decisions only after full discussion at a publicly held board meeting, and then render all decisions based on available facts and the board members' independent. I, I think part of it is missing there. And refuse to surrender <coughs> their judgment to individuals or special groups. I think that may be worded well for okay. what you were trying to say. What number was this? Two and on three? the last page, uh, 1106, two right. and three. three. Together. Endeavor to make policy decisions only after full discussion at publicly held. Yes, cut off the board. And then, but three is a little better. That's true. Well, three is better than the two. Render all decisions based on the available yeah, facts and the board members. I guess independent, independent something and refuse opinion. to surrender that judgment to individuals <coughs> or special interest groups. Individuals, including fellow board members. We still have to get that in there about. So we're placing that one with F. Yes. I refuse to surrender my independent judgment for special interest of partisan political groups to use the schools for personal gain. And then you want to put and render, I will render all decisions based on the available facts. I think, I think you could else? just you put three in. Is it is three is the last page item three worded better than F and, and than F. F. I think okay. it might be. All right, so let's look at that. What do you guys think? You like it better? I will render all the We still have to slide in there by fill up board members. Yeah, you can add you can combine it, but I think it's it's written a little better. Okay. Mm -hmm. I wonder if their intent was not to have a backroom uh, meeting on, uh, on two. You, you know, uh -huh. I think that right. might have been their intent of that, that you can't meet at the diner to discuss some of these things. That, that might have been, maybe there were, that particular district might have had that kind of issue. You don't know. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. Mark. Five members. That, 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 was that reminds because they are much smaller districts. Yeah, maybe five members on the board. <laughs> um, how do you all feel about um, putting something in here that says, um, I will not hold any private meetings with district employees or staff? I think it's a fine idea. <laughs> Let's write it right now. What does that mean, though? What What do you? Yeah. Uh, what does that mean? Meeting, what is no that, board what member mean? shall act upon themselves or take the act upon it's themselves to meet in here. with employees yeah. of or, the district. Or, or if, if they have a complaint and they call employees you, or you go in there as a board member to try to work out their problem. Meet with them. You shouldn't. Be, you shouldn't be meeting. No. Uh -uh. There's no way you're supposed to. Do that. So how do we work? I, I think that's tough. The, you meet someone in the supermarket and says, you know what, those buses are late coming to <laughs> pick up my kids. Yeah. I don't yeah, know but, but this no, this is board no, no, this going is setting into buildings up, and this setting, is up, setting up a meeting, getting in a call from an employee yeah. or an employee meeting you in the <laughs> building and saying, I want to meet with you so privately. Not come away to the building okay. and grounds no, and let's meet. <laughs> right. And then you're going to get in and solve all the problems by yourself in the bank without the board. Yeah, so that's really clear. What you're saying is, is 
want me to ask Margo because we all have for this. wording? Yes. Including you. Yeah, you meet with me. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's something that any that phone call today. Yeah. I mean, then I told you. I mean, that, that stops short, but yet that's what she wants. She wants somebody to come in and take care of her. Well, an employee right. can but, do that, not a board member. Right. Yeah. Right. Correct. She, right. She's going to the wrong person. Right. Yeah. And what I did was, was you know, <laughs> talk to Give it to me. Right. What I do is give it to me. Yeah, yeah. give it to me. So. <laughs> that would be the proper thing to do. Well, then maybe you should say I, not, have, uh, not have a meeting for the purpose of fixing a problem or whatever. Again, you know, for, for the purpose of why don't you want them to have a meeting? Why don't you want for the purpose of, 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 I mean, you could, of course That's you can right. listen. Right. You can listen to that employee or parent or whatever, and say, and then say, you know what, you should, this is the person you should right. speak to. Right. This okay. is or the department you, you should right. go to. Or, or you can say you're going to take it to the head. Right. We can't subvert the authority. So that, no, right. you can say not have a meeting. We need to use the word authority. We do not have that authority. That has to be the Board members do not have the authority to. What I'm speaking specifically, Judy, and I do not do this, is entertain someone who said, an employee who says, Dawn, I want to meet with you privately to discuss an issue I'm having in the district. That doesn't happen. I would not allow that. It's, 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 it's. Not with you. Right. Oh, I know, which is why I want to This is why here. we need it in here. <laughs> this is why you could say no. I'm sorry, I can't because it's I against my code right. of ethics. Well, then you need to. What, what someone is going to call a private meeting, other people are not going to say it. So you need to be specific for the private meeting for the purpose of uh, um, trying to. I mean, oh, well, have a private meeting saying I'm going to tell you about your supervisor, about my supervisor. He's bullying me, or whatever, and I'd like for you to do something about it. And people do that. They, uh, they, they and call. Well, not only not that, and then board members go to that other employee and speak <laughs> yeah. to them instead yeah. of going okay. to the superintendent. So, so, I, so individual board members do not have the authority to take action or to... to try to run the day-to-day -day operation. They should be involved with that trial job. Do not have the authority to, to, meet, to with meet with district personnel. Well, parents too, correct? Are you, I mean, the same thing could be on that side. No, no, that's different. I'm that's, talking, yeah. I'm yeah. talking that's about different. the personnel. Uh, I, 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 we're not, we're not, we're you not you their bosses. We are not on. their bosses. We should not be involved in any of those daily activities. That's the soup's job. That's what we have to make really clear. To, to not meeting with an employee for the purpose of reconciling a problem that they have with the district. Right. Is that what you really want to say? We're getting closer. Okay. We're, getting closer. <laughs> We're getting closer. We're getting there. Is this the for the purpose of... Yeah. Yeah. Individual board members do not have the authority to meet with school district employees to who would present their positions on an issue or appeal for action beyond our authority. Or, or they're going to the thing is, we don't have that the board authority member. at all. Like we, we, individuals have no authority. We as individuals right, yeah. have none, no authority. That's, that's in here? But it needs to be more clearly yeah. spelled out that's, specific to that's this. That's what I mean. We can reiterate right. it in this right. line right. item as well. Right. We're only in 30 as a, as a, as a board. As a board. Mm -hmm. yeah. As nine people. <laughs> only when in session, too. Exactly. Correct. Well, you can be in session on the phone. Five people. No, we can't because that's <laughs> not appropriate. It's not appropriate. For that. And it shouldn't yeah. be happening. Maybe Martin can help with something. All right, so individual boardrooms do not have the authority to meet privately with district personnel, blah, blah, blah. And I'll ask Margot to let Ask Margot, yeah. yeah. Pri privately, so 
That means two board members can meet with that one person. That, I mean, no. <laughs> no. No. I, I know. That that I know. What he's saying. But that's but what I'm I was saying. saying wording, why we have, the wording we have to get in there, that as individuals, we have no authority. He's reacting to that. Yeah. No, but so that's why we have to get in there as individuals. I'm nitpicking the wording that you're... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to turn it over to the attorney, and she's going to come up with the wording so that it's clear. Tell her what. Tell her I don't what care you want. if yes, it's right. one board you. member or five board but members right that want to meet with an employee. No. <laughs> to reconcile a problem they have with the district, do you want to be that specific? Well, you just don't want to meet with the employee at all. What do you? What do what, you want? What is? What would be the purpose of? Unless you were friends with that person, you were out socially. It would have absolutely nothing to do with school business. For the purpose of discussing school business, maybe, but it, you would there would be no reason for you to be meeting with an employee unless you were socially friends with them outside, which okay. is fine, and then you wouldn't be discussing school business. Yeah, you could be outside going to lunch. Just jot down in there too that five you got yeah, to just, just five because people. every time you walk through Just so she knows what we're trying to get across so that as individuals we have no but authority. No, I'm speaking specifically, Judy, to we, setting up meetings, to right. setting up appointments. Because yes, when yeah. we go into a building, personnel are going to talk to us. Mm -hmm. No, we can't avoid that. Right. Okay. But we only belong in the building if we're there for a purpose. We shouldn't be stopping anyway. by to walk around. So, anyway, right. Um, so, you know, if, if you're there for a purpose and people are talking to you, yes. I'm talking about board members that set appointments and meetings with district employees. To hear their grievances. Usually. Usually Complain. that's the purpose. And say they're going to solve them to boo. <laughs> mm, yeah. Go on, before you go on, if you go back to the original page three of uh, 0180 uh, under uh, other prohibited activities, number two, it's in oops, Code of Ethics, page three. All right, you're looking at our existing code of ethics? Yeah. Number two. Kind of falls in with what we were just discussing. Other prohibited activities? Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm going to copy if I had this from another. <laughs> I didn't make this for It's saying a lot of what we're saying, but it's putting it in a different set of wording. Reasonable basis for impression that any person can improperly influence such officer or employee or unduly enjoy special flavor, special favor in the performance of the our official duties. So, flavor? <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. my alley. Yeah. And Pam, I'm going to ask you at your next policy meeting if you could look at, um, again, the policy regarding the visitations to the schools mm -hmm. um, and see if we can add something to that. Um, Again, if it's, if it's, and I think there's something in there already, if it's interfering with the employee's ability to do their job, if a board member is there for no reason, um, hanging out and whatever, um, and that's keeping people from doing the job that they're supposed to be doing. Um, I think there is something infringing on. You know, I mean, I, I know we've 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 not want we've stopped short of saying we don't have the right to go into buildings, but really, if there shouldn't be a purpose of a board member to go into a building 
to look for something or right. to find something out. You know, there, really, what purpose do you have? You're not involved in the day-to-day -day activities. So unless you have someone there in the building or you're invited there or there's something going on, what would be your purpose for just going in and walking around? It shouldn't be. And thereby disrupting the employees doing their job. Because it is, let's, we all know, it's a distraction. When we walk into a building, Everybody people come out, knows it. people, right, you know, they want to talk to us, whatever. It's keeping them from doing their job. So, mm -hmm. but I'll let you bring that back to policy and you guys can vet that out and see. What you think. It is. Always has been. Because if you go well, into a building, yeah, people are going to say something. Right. And some but people are going to complain. But there's also a difference about going in and observing yeah. the as we should just, once in a while yeah. and then disrupting and stepping over boundaries that we shouldn't be stepping over. I used to go every day. I used to go every month. Go, go to every building. And it wasn't disrupting, right. but but people do stop you and right. say, "Hey, look, I'm glad to see you over here because of X, Y, and Z." Right. Remember how disappointed I was when I first got on the board uh -huh. because I thought that there were going to be schools mm -hmm. assigned because it used to be that way. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you you walk them in school. Right. Each board member. But has. but it changed. And I don't <laughs> think it's not so much that we're not welcome. We have to make a phone call. It has to be convenient for them. Mm -hmm. Right, and we and, and we can't. You know, and we're we, stepping we our boundaries, bossing people right. around, or, or saying we're going to solve an issue that we really should have no right being involved in, or investigate an issue, or that, right? Because now that totally impedes our impartiality. Mm -hmm. That's like that's like ridiculous. Mm -hmm. We should have no part of that. Right. Mm -hmm. So which sticky one? So yes, that, that's a real sticky. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I have another sticky I, I issue. Like I'm not going to spy and I'm not trying to no. investigate. I'm just going to see how things are going. In fact, right we did going. that the year before and then went yeah. over it again last year, so we'll bring it back again. Oh, boy. The, uh, uh, I, will the that, I will say that, I will say that, yep. If we could put that on uh, I will say that board. things have gotten better as far as, yes. um, for the most part, people checking in at the main office, letting the administrator of the building know that they're yeah, there. So we got specific uh, with yes. that, the last five um, That is that. much better, um, with one or two exceptions. <laughs> I'm going back to it. So. I know I've gone into a building, stopped, seen the principal, and said, I just want to go see they did construction, and I want to see what they did this, this weekend. And just... Will you investigate? I'm just looking. But that's <laughs> not affecting anything that's running in, through the building. You're just going in, taking a look. But once they see you, they're going to see it. Well, yeah, yeah. They, they're going to go, oh, come in, and let me speak to you. Have a cup of coffee with me. <laughs> it happens. It happens. Okay. No question about it. But there's certain times when, you know, then I've told principals, you want me to see me to come to your building? Call me. If they've but got something going on. But they should be special? calling individual mm -hmm. board members. <laughs> you didn't let me finish the line. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> You just if said you've got that something going on, such as a play or something like this, so then right. I'll come in to your building. Right, but they do that for everybody. Yeah, you can get an invitation for that. But yeah. they call Sometimes we'll get a week late. Tom, we'll come over here and look at the ceiling fall down. Right, that yeah, should be I get happy. that too. But, that, but then you should say that, I'm sorry, I don't have the authority to yeah. do that. This is who you need to contact. Mm -hmm not appropriate for us as individual board members to go out and do that. Back that up just a minute, will you? Just for my own clarification. Yes. Now, um, do you do what? If, a, if an administrator of a building should not be calling individual board members oh, yeah. and That's saying, fine. I would like you to come by here and look at this for me. But let's say it's like buildings and grounds, and Sue 
uh, wanted to check, or it was something related to the libraries, the school libraries, and I wanted to, to visit the elementary libraries. Do we think that that would be one? Because it's awfully hard to be chair of these committees mm -hmm. with, without information. But I think then there should, should still be a proper protocol. Sue would call Andy, mm -hmm. you would call building principal and ask the librarian. And, and you would, you know, right, and you would call I still the don't feel we have the right to who's say. in charge of libraries. It's just that we as individual board members shouldn't be doing these things. Yes, it's perfectly appropriate as the chair of the library committee to set up that visitation and to go and be looking to gather information. But there are other people that should be part of that with you. Because I think now, doesn't it just say, you're the building principal? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think it says anything, but I mean, this could get complicated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you mm -hmm. could have a list of people that you'd have mm -hmm. to check. It's not, I guess what, I, what I'm trying to avoid is individual board members trying to take on more authority than they are legally entitled to. So that's your wording right there. Mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> Don't beat around the bush. Like, Don't beat around the bush. Like, that's the that's the word. And I think David wrote something not long ago. David Shaw. And he sent us something about this. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah I remember. Because of, because of the complaints we had about us Last walking year. into yes. schools and taking yes. over. Several years ago. Yeah, well, more recently as well. You the lawsuit is still going on. From the one several years ago. But more, right, but more recently there have been yeah. complaints as well. It's <laughs> 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 nice to oh, what? Was it? What did I say? <laughs> what did I say, say? Mark? <laughs> Andrew, what did she say? <laughs> I'm sorry, oh, you got replay. it down. Over there. Instant replay. <laughs> You want to avoid, or, or that, that part of it, what there's the, I don't know what you said. Yeah, I don't know what you said. But it was good. It sounded perfect. You said what I'm trying to avoid is, if individuals you record going it into the building, yeah, it's on the tape. Oh. to conduct. I'll, I'll try and get it up soon, yes. <laughs> and we'll let you know in the morning. To see their authority as individual yeah. board members to, if, I don't know if you want to expand on it, to either investigate or, no, or no, it's just, or just to see their authority of, in, yeah. of an individual board member. I'm sure the lawyer can put a word to it. Individuals. I.E. Mm. Yeah, That fine. That's the point you want to make. Make that point. It'll, it'll oh. come back to me. I'll write down yeah. something and then yeah, when you go home. think when you go home. Go home. Go see their authority as I know what. You should have had all day to pack. You cancel the other two. What? Come on. Come on. Come on. You never get done. I think between that and that, mm -hmm. and Margo, this is too important, Don. Maybe we'll get out of that. Come back with that draft. The draft, yeah, the draft and we have yeah. to look over right. basically every word, yep. every word of it. Tom, what were you different. saying on this one? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. What were you saying on the one that we are? I, oh. I agree. You know, Item two. based on this discussion, I'm going to bring forward uh, what I think five, we discussed. Number two. Have her put it out, be stamped draft, two, and come back two. to everyone. Let's review it again. Did I hear you say, Dawn, we was talking about conflict of interest? Hey, straight. Oh, I guess. Did I hear you say that program the beginning? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's, that's part of this. You know, that's part of what we have already that's, I think, pretty specific. Yeah. They are. Um, it is. No, <laughs> <laughs> what, what number was it, Tom? Uh, page, page three, two, number, number two. Right there. Roman numeral two, item two. Other prohibited activities. By his or her conduct, give reasonable basis for the impression that any person can improperly influence such 
officer or employee or unduly enjoy special favor in the performance of official duties or that he or she is affected by the kinship, rank, position, or influence of any party or person. That was written by a lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when this gets put together, it's got to seem as though it was written by the same person. It's got to all be written. Right. Yeah, but I'm just saying. Right, but, a, but, mm -hmm. but what we're putting together is different than this approach. Yeah. Yes. I mean, this is an addendum. I hope so. Because you, you want the person who signs this document to understand. Oh, right. That's right. <laughs> um, it is in here, Mr. Lewis. Yeah, um, I know you said it in the front. It's Roman numeral one, statutory conflicts of interest. Yep. On the one that. Um, Mary Lou just gave copies to it. It's a draft code of ethics, code of bylaws. Conflict of interest if Judy or Sue can vote on the contract, the contract. on the teacher's contract on the company boss. Is that a conflict of interest? They shouldn't vote on it. Pardon me? He gave it a sense, not a conflict of interest. Now I'm reading about the most papers we have Right, she always disclosed that. Right, she yeah. does. It right. seems to me it is. But I, th I remember at some of the law conferences up in Nisba mm -hmm. that they said it could be perceived mm -hmm. as a conflict, the retirement part of it, if, yes. if, if you're retired, not the current contractual. Like the part that I think might be questionable is the part about the uh, retiring insurance. The right. health insurance. That, but that, yeah. that was, right. that's what yeah. I'm saying, that I remember it being brought up several times right. at a several but it has been brought up here at this table. No, if the board yeah. said, if the board said they wanted to yeah. increase your participation in, in, in the health insurance, say 10%, and, and you're sitting on the board and you say, no, I'm not, no. Mm -hmm. So you shouldn't be able to vote on that because you're going to, you're voting. Right. In your own interest. On your own interest. And, and Which it goes exactly against never, this. Yeah. That has never come up. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. But I think what, what Sue and I and Steve. Yes. Did, I remember. Was, uh, I, to to I disclose that. Yeah. Not right. Like you don't know. Yeah. Right. 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 You're, you're right. Yes. Yeah. No, so so in fulfilling your obligation right. of disclosure, which is also in here, mm -hmm. uh, obligation of disclosure. But I agree um, right. with you if that ever yeah. came up. But if that ever I came up, that, then I that would be that number be that would be number four because it would be a, an interest. I always ask David when my wife was still working, would, should I vote on a contract or should I just take it and abstain? And he said. It's no conflict. Oh, no, interest. spouses uh, can. Yeah. Uh, if you remember, no, I don't think you were on the board, and it goes way back. I think it was about 15 years when uh, when Joe Fogarty was our uh, attorney on the board. Oh. And Joe wrote to the state because Bob Roth's wife, I mean, it was a 4 4 vote, and Bob Roth had the fifth mm -hmm. vote. And he wrote to the state, and the state said, no, he has a right to vote for his wife. He wants to, he can vote yeah. for his spouse. But I was there, David, and David always told me. I mean, if that was the case, well, we wouldn't yeah. pass anything. Nobody would be sitting there. Because at <laughs> one time you had five people on the board. To me and you. So you could tell us to go home. And, and, and the other five, and, and really you could have five retired teachers on the board. Really. There's a possibility. Or taxpayers. Yeah, that's yes, what I'm sir. saying. And yeah. I'm saying that that would be a conflict to me. To but vote on those issues. Well, that's right. a question. Yeah. Do you yeah. all have David 
No, but it hasn't ever come up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, can I have a motion to adjourn the special meeting? So moved. Second. Roll call, please. Yes. 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 Yes.